Some of you, there are resolutions you made in the beginning of the year. And now we are in November. We are supposed to get into December. And now you are contemplating, do I begin these resolutions in November or do I wait for another January? Please, I have come to tell you, begin in November. Even though you are failed from January, Mwambie Buana, these two months, less than two months, they can make a difference. The remaining 40 days of the year 2022, they can make a difference. Don't procrastinate and wait for the year 2023. I release the grace of walking in the truth. Cry to God and tell God, you have revealed the truth to me. Help me now to be a doer of the truth of your word in the mighty name of Jesus. You know, one of the most painful things is when you do something or you are doing something and you know this is not the right thing for me, but you go ahead and you continue to do it. You feel so bad. You feel so bad. In fact, some of the things that believers do, they can lead you into depression if you are not careful. You can be depressed. When you see your life getting into sin, into immorality, into fornication. Now, Najua, this is not the right thing for me to do. I am destroying myself. If you continue with that kind of life, it can cause you to enter into depression because it is so painful for you as a believer when you continue to do something that you know what I am doing is not the right thing. Sometimes you feel a lot of hopelessness. Huh? Sometimes you feel you just desire to die. They work it for a good Mimi ni wanini ya fulani kufe. Kwa sababu najua, kuna njia ambao naweza kuwa more productive, naweza kuwa more effective, naweza kuwa na udamana zaidi. Lakini ile njia, ni kama kuna uvivu fulani, ni kama kuna mawe fulani, umewekerewa, na unashindwa kuchukua atua. It feels so bad. As a believer. Siju kama unasikianga vibaya kama mimi. Wakati unajua kwamba I can be more productive, I can be more effective, I can be able to do better. But the things that contribute to by becoming better, I'm not able to do them. It feels so bad. Yes, you can repent once. You can repent twice. But as you continue to repent, you feel you are hardened. You even come to a place, unafanya mambo yale, na uwezi kutubu. Sometimes atakama ni sins of omission. Bwana, forgive my prayerlessness. Unaka hivo, hawombi, unaka hivo. Paka unafika mahali, unasema sasa, kuna aji ya kutubu juu ya prayerlessness. Tunaishi kwa neema. Sasa unaendelea tu kukura na kuendelea tu na maisha. Ha? Bereni ulikuwa unashawishika kama Samueli. Ambaya alisema mimi sita fanya dhambi. Kwa kukosa kuwaombea. Dhamiri yake ilikuwa hai. Ya kwamba if I don't do this, I am sinning. But as a believer, unaweza kuwa na huu kushawishika ya kwamba I'm not doing the right thing. Lakini ukiendelea, your conscience, the Bible says that the, their conscience has been seared with a hot iron. The miri yako inenda ikichomeka, ikichomeka, paka unafika mahali, hausiki kitu. Unaishi maisha mabaya as a believer. Lakini hausiki kitu, the miri yako imekufa. Unaishi kama gurue kwa matope na usiki vibaya. Zamani yata ukifanya kitu kidogo, ungesikia vibaya. Lakini kwa kuzoea na kwa kukayare maisha, unafika maali na kuwa ni kawaida. Bwana sifuwe sana. Hallelujah. Jina la bwana mpewe sifa. Si mungu wa tutapatie neema ya kutembelea katika ukweli ambao tunaujua.